we're at a real life fire truck. And we're going to learn about all the great things that firefighters do to help protect people. Boys and girls, are you ready to spin the wheel? Yes! Yeah. Let's go! <gasps> it landed on the fire helmet. Some superheroes wear capes. And some superheroes wear superhero masks. And firefighters have their own superhero uniform, too. Let's check it out. Look, everyone, it's my friend Captain Nick and Firefighter Jose. And they're going to be having a race to see who puts on their firefighter's uniform the fastest. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three, start. Go, go, go. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, who's going to win? <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh, they're both so fast. <gasps> We're getting to the last part. to do that, their superpower is their awesome ladder. Come on, Captain Nick will show us how to use it. Time to get onto the ladder. Captain Nick will show us how. Hey, so first we're gonna climb up there and then you're gonna see the ladder. All right. All right, I'm gonna climb first. Okay. All right, Ellie, it's your turn now. I'm coming. <laughs> it's super windy up here. All right. Um, let's go over here. All right. Watch your step. So, Captain Nick, where's the ladder? Well, you're walking right over it <gasps> right now. Isn't this awesome, boys and girls? We are in the bucket. Awesome, we're in the bucket at the ladder? How high does this ladder go, Captain Nick? It goes 100 feet high. 100 feet high? And look, there's even water cannons. Correct, yes, there's two of them, one here and one over there, so that we can fight big fires, too. That sounds so cool. <laughs> We've already learned about the firefighter's uniform and the firefighter's ladder. Let's see what else we can learn. Three, two, one, spin the wheel. <gasps> it landed on goggles. Did you know that firefighters have superhero training to be able to see in the dark in case it's smoky and they have to rescue people? Let's ask Captain Nick and get him to show us how. <laughs> Hi, Captain Nick. So I was wondering, how do you train to see through smoke? Well, the trick, Ellie, is that you don't see through the smoke at all. So you train to do everything without seeing anything at all. <gasps> you know, how do you do that? You want to know how it works? Well, remember this mask? Mm -hmm. Keeps me safe from the smoke, right? Mm -hmm. So I have this magic paper that looks exactly like smoke. You can't see through it. So, you put this paper in your mask like so. Now you put the mask on, and now I cannot see anything at all. <gasps> I can't wait to see you in action. 
these two firefighters are now looking for somebody who is trapped inside of the building. And it's a lot of smoke, so nobody cannot see anything. These two firefighters work as a team. They work together so that they can help each other. We're following the wall so that we don't get lost. Uh-oh, I think we found somebody who needs help. So we're gonna put a loop around this person so that we can drag this person out to safety because this person is too tired to get out. Now one firefighter follows the same wall, but with a different hand so that it leads us back to the exit. And the second firefighter is now dragging the person all the way to safety. Here, we found that door. We're really close now. Just a few more steps. Now we can help each other so that this person is out quickly. And we're out of the building. Everybody's safe. You see that, boys and girls? The firefighters did it. They are superheroes. Time for another spin. Three, two, one, let's go. It landed on a fire truck. Every superhero needs a really cool vehicle to get around whether or not it's a superhero car or a really fast motorcycle. Do you know what firefighters drive? <laughs> That's right, a fire truck! is sponsored by Moose. Oh boy, I'm so excited for Alexis to come join me for my super cool annual Ellie Sparkles pajama party. Hi Ellie, I'm so excited for our slumber party and I even brought you a huge gift. Thanks so much Alexis. Boys and girls, if you want to see me open up this present from Alexis, give me a big thumbs up. What's in here? It's in a popcorn box? <laughs> Mm, smell that. It Whoa. smells like marshmallows. What is this cute face doing in here? Come out! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Look, I think this is a llama. She's so cute. She's got different shades of purple in her hair, and she's even wearing a sleeping bag. Look, Ellie, it even says the Pick Me Pop's name. It says that she's Poppy Sprinkles. Poppy Sprinkles <laughs> has such a cute name. <gasps> I wonder what she's wearing. Oh my goodness. It's she's wearing donut PJs. Donut PJs to match her sleeping bag. And it says right here, Donut Worry. <laughs> She's the cutest llama I've ever seen. <laughs> Look, Ellie, there's more surprises in here. <gasps> there's not just one, there's two. Two surprises with every single pajama llama. Awesome. Cool, blind bag. I wonder what's inside. Ooh, I think it's a hair tie. Awesome! It's so cute! It's got a llama head on it! <laughs> they match! <laughs> Let's see what the second surprise is. Ooh, it's a bigger one. Maybe it's a mini pajama llama? Mm, <laughs> maybe. Ooh, it's a sleeping mask! Oh, that's awesome! And I even think it fits me. It does! <laughs> 
I love the color of it. Pink is my favorite color ever, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that the mask fits the pajama llama? Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> I wonder what she'll look like. <gasps> Perfect fit. Ready for <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> Thank you so much for this gift, Alexis. I also got you a gift. You won't believe what it is. It's also a pajama llama. <laughs> <laughs> she has a cherry sleeping bag. More surprises. You are cherry sweet. <laughs> It's a purple hair tie. <laughs> and a purple sleeping mask. <laughs> Let's get inspired by our pajama llamas. Great idea. Let's get into our PJs and spin a special pajama wheel to see what activities we should do. Amazing. The first spin is always the most exciting. Right, Alexis? Let's do this. Three, two, one, pajama llama spin! It landed on super delicious popcorn. I wonder what that means. I hope it means snack time. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what this rope is for. <gasps> Don't pull it just yet. Whenever there's a silly rope, some silly things might happen and it can get a little messy. So I would hold out these popcorn boxes. All right. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, <no! laughs> oh. Let's go back to the wheel and spin for another activity to do. <laughs> All right. You know what to do, Alexis. Time for our second pajama llama spin. It landed on bottles of nail polish. Awesome! That just gave me a great idea. Since your pajama llama is purple and mine is pink, let's paint our nails the same color. Let's show all the boys and girls what colors we have for our nails today. I have violet. And I have the sparkly pink, because I have LED sparkles. <laughs> Ooh, this violet is so pretty. It is, isn't it? I know. It's okay to get messy sometimes. Nail polish is really hard to get used to. Yeah. Well, I'm done with my first layer. You want to try doing my right hand? Hmm. I'm not very good at it. It's okay. This is just for fun anyway. All right. Painting your nails can be really calming. Your nails really match your pajama llama, Alexis. <laughs> Thanks. Time for our third wheel spin. What could be nail polish? That was so much fun. Three, two, one, spin. <gasps> I know what that is. I use it all the time. A hair scrunchie. Time for some hair styling. <laughs> Look at all of these hair accessories. I know, I collected everything and decided to put it all on this table for us. Let's see, what do we have here? Well, there's a flower crown. That looks mm -hmm. so good on you, and it's so colorful. Thanks. And I also have all these scrunchies. Scrunchies are my favorite. Am I starting to look more like my pajama llama? <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. both have pink hair now, too. <laughs> well, I have purple. That looks awesome! <laughs> it almost looks like your real hair. And it also matches my PJs. <laughs> and check this out too. Woo! It's like a New Year's Eve headband. Yeah, <laughs> happy New Year. <laughs> awesome. We can match scrunchies. We can also put them on our wrists and make them like wrist accessories. Yeah. Oh, these too, these are so cool. And then there's this blue one. Hmm. Well, there's blue on mine, so I guess I'll have this blue one. And then this one is like a birthday cake one. Oh, 
that's awesome. Pajama llamas are always so colorful. Mm-hmm. Hmm, do you want the flower crown? Sure thing, you can try on this headband. All right. Idea, pajama llamas. I agree. <sighs> Good night. Good night. Sparkles, how are you doing? I'm doing so good. I can't wait to become a real firefighter today. That's an awesome idea. So first thing you will need is a fire helmet. Here's awesome. one for you. Thank you so much. Great. So how about a tour of the fire truck now? That sounds like the best idea ever. Let's do this. Look at these. Cool. They're fire hoses. Yeah, we use fire hoses to put water on a fire. Awesome. There's three colors, everyone. Green, blue, and orange! Yeah! <laughs> All right, I got more stuff for you. What is this? They're axes! What are they for? Well, we use axes if somebody is trapped inside of the building and it's on fire. We will break the door to get inside and rescue people out of the building. That's awesome and so brave! Yeah. We got more of these right over <laughs> here. And... Look at this! What's that? Whoa. They're fire extinguishers. Let's count them, everyone. One fire extinguisher, two fire extinguishers, three fire extinguishers. That's three. <laughs> All right, I got more stuff for you. Take a look in the back of the fire truck. We got a ground ladder. Oh my goodness. It is super long. It's so long. All right, let me show you something else. These are our rescue compartments. Awesome! I see ropes. What that, are they for? That's right. We use ropes to rescue people. We save people not just in fires, but in all sorts of troubles. Awesome! Look what's in here. <gasps> fire gear! That's right. That's the real fire gear. We use it to keep us safe from heat and smoke. Sounds good. <gasps> and there's a fire helmet, everyone. Whoa! That's a real fire helmet. Oh, it's much heavier than I thought. <laughs> all right, let me show you something else. Ooh, look, look at all these dials and gauges, everyone. What are they for? Well, we use them to put water on the fire, to oh. fight the fires. All right. <laughs> now that I've learned a bit more about fire trucks, does that mean that I can finally drive it? Well, that's a good idea, but first you need to learn a lot more before you become a firefighter. Sounds good to me. <laughs> We're in a real life firehouse right now, boys and girls. It's super huge. It has to be if a fire engine lives here. Now we're gonna see Captain Nick put on his firefighter uniform and it's gonna be so cool. Let's go. Hey, Ellie, we got so much gear here that keeps us safe, okay? So I'm gonna put my hood on first, like this. Keeps my ears safe. <laughs> and it looks really warm. Now I got my, my boots 
and my pants. Look at that. I'm gonna pull these suspenders up. And I got my pants. These are fire pants. <laughs> It's a jacket. It's a special jacket, Ellie. It's a fire jacket. It keeps me safe from smoke and heat. Why do you have to be safe from smoke? Well, because smoke, kids, is super bad for you. You should never be breathing that smoke. It's bad for your health. Then what happens if I do see it? Well, if you see smoke or smell smoke, you should stay low like this, and you should go outside. And when you're outside, you should stay outside. Don't ever come back, okay? All right, that sounds good to me. You're the firefighter. All right, so let's put this jacket on. Now, I got something else that is really special. What does it look like to you? It looks like a backpack. It's a backpack with clean air inside. What's the clean air for? Well, so that I'm not breathing smoke, because remember, smoke, kids, is bad, bad, bad for you. And clean air is good, good, yeah. good for you. Wait a second, what's this mask? Oh, that's a mask, that's a fire mask. It's super scary. No, you should not be scared about it. It keeps me safe, my face, from smoke. <gasps> and smoke is bad. Smoke is bad, so I'm gonna put this mask on. Don't be afraid, it's still Captain Nick. Did you hear that, boys and girls? It's still Captain Nick under that mask, and he's a good guy. All right, let's do the mask. Here we go, nothing scary, right? High five. Awesome! Perfect. Do I look cool? Remember, boys and girls, <laughs> if you see a firefighter close to you, don't be scared. They're here to protect you. Uh, when I take my mask off, it's still Captain Nick. One of the coolest parts of the fire truck are the fire hoses. Fire hoses are super special because they shoot water really, really fast and they're super duper strong. But wait, if I have a garden hose, can I use that, Captain Nick? No, you should never use a garden hose, kids. Garden hoses are way too weak to fight a fire. <laughs> Remember, boys and girls, you have to stay low and get out of there and call 911 when you get outside. <laughs> Good job, Ellie. <laughs> All right, time to see how this fire hose works. All right. Ellie, you ready to back me up? Yep. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> wow. Awesome! What else can we use to fight fires? Well, we also got fire extinguishers. Extinguishers! I've seen these at home and at school, so that means I can use them, right, Captain Nick? No, not really. Your job is to get out. These fire extinguishers are only for adults to use. Oh, all right. Sounds good to me. Can you show me how it works? Of course I can. Take a look. All right, Ellie, you have learned so much about being a firefighter today. I think it's time for you to look inside of the fire truck. I can't wait. Jump right in. Whoa, I've never seen the inside of a fire truck before. This is awesome. There's so much stuff. There's flashlights, radios, and plenty of seats. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six flashlights. That means there's also six seats for six firefighters. Awesome! And don't forget, boys and girls, there are also seat belts on these seats. <laughs> Being in the front seat makes me really want to be a firefighter. <laughs> but wait, Captain Nick, can girls be firefighters too? Of course they can. Did you know that girls make excellent firefighters? One of our fire chief in our department is a girl. Awesome! So, so boys and girls can be firefighters. We all are equal. I think there is a real fire alarm coming. We gotta go. Ellie, you ready to roll the truck with me? Sure thing, Captain Nick. Let's do this.
Here's some special bonus footage from our time at the firehouse. Time to get on the fire truck. Fire trucks are so cool. That's me, all the way up on that ladder. We made it! This is so cool! Firefighters are super brave. They're looking for someone to rescue. Captain Nick found someone. They did it! Good job! Everyone is safe! Hooray! Look! The outriggers are coming out of the fire truck. These help balance the truck so it doesn't tip over. I didn't know fire trucks had these, did you? Amazing! one do I want the most? <laughs> Check out this pirate treasure, everyone! What do I have to do to win this prize? Hmm? Brr, not so fast, Alice Sparkles. This is me, pirate treasure, filled with all me gold. And nobody has ever won me pirate treasure before. You have to get to all the way to the top of this fun meter. So, what makes you think you can get all the way to the top of the fun meter? Huh? If there's anything me and the boys and girls at home are really good at doing, it's having fun. <laughs> I think we can do it. All right, boys and girls, if you want to win this pirate treasure, give me a big thumbs up and let's go. Awesome! This place has a huge ball playground called Ballocity. <laughs> Come on, let's go see what's inside. here is a huge ball cannon that's bigger than I am! Wow! Now let's go up the steps! They're so colorful! Check out this cool ball shooter! <laughs> I'm so excited to go down this slide! <laughs> and look up there! We even have a ball drop! <laughs> The pirate treasure is all for me, E-I-E-I-O. With a gold coin here and a gold coin there. Here a coin, there a coin, everywhere a gold coin. All my treasure is all for me. I wonder if the fun meter is all the way to the top now. Oh, Mr. Pirate, guess what I just did? I went and had so much fun at the Ball Playground Ballocity. You wouldn't believe it. There was a slide, ball launchers, and even ball shooters. <laughs> Did I win the prize yet? Ha ha ha. 
Not even close. This pile of treasures, all mine. Not even one gold coin for you. Oh, it's okay. I've only been on one ride so far. There's still so much to do, and I know exactly what to do next. I'm gonna have even more fun than ever. <laughs> Welcome to the go-kart. This is the ride where we pretend to be real-life race car drivers and go round and round the track really, really fast. Vroom, vroom! Go-karts are super fun, but you have to stay safe. I gotta buckle up. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Boys and girls, did you see that? I went so fast. This way and then that way and this way again. <laughs> and I finished the racetrack with the fastest time ever. I also had so much fun. Was that enough to win the treasure chest? Oh, oh man, I guess I have to go on one more ride. Let's go. <laughs> Girl, Ellie Sparkles is sure having a lot of fun. She's almost gonna win me treasure. I gotta do something about that. Topping off the fun meter, and we only have one activity left to do. Roller skating! I'm just really nervous because I've only skated a few times before. I hope I don't fall because that would not be fun at all. Let's go! Grr, this is my last chance to stop Ellie Sparkles from taking me treasure. Sad pirate, because you really won me treasure. Good job, Ellie. Oh no, pirate, don't be sad. It's all right, I know how much you love your treasure. So I was thinking, after I won it, that we would share it together. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Look at this gold coin, you'll like this one. Yeah. Mm. 
Did you hear that? It sounded like it came from the stables. Let's go. So Ellie Sparkles wants to take the golden pumpkin. Well, I'll make sure she never finds it. I'll hide it in the place she'll never look. Ha 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 ha. No, no. <laughs> Good luck, Ellie Sparkles. Ha 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 ha. She's been so excited to see me. She's so beautiful with her long blonde mane and brown skin. Uh-oh, she seems really hungry. It's a good thing I have her lunch right here. Did she know that Missy is over 20 years old? But the Lawrence family has been farming for over 100 years. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Horses like to eat lots of vegetables because it keeps them nice and strong. It's really hard to take care of a horse. You have to feed them often and give them lots of exercise. <laughs> hey, Missy, I have a question for you. Do you know where my golden pumpkin is? <laughs> so ride the tractor all the way to the vegetable fields? That sounds like a great idea. Thanks, Missy. <laughs> Wow, look at how huge this tractor is. <gasps> awesome! I'm driving the tractor, everyone. And look at these huge wheels. Do you see them? They're almost as big as I am. Do you know why the wheels have to be this huge? It's so they can pull lots of heavy things and go through lots of different things like rocks or mud or soil. I can't wait to ride this tractor. <laughs> awesome! This tractor's going at the perfect speed for me. And look over there. Look at all the vegetables and fruit. I bet my golden pumpkin is over there somewhere. And there's so many vegetables here. Let's see how many we can dig up. <laughs> Here's some lettuce. This is the biggest lettuce I've ever seen. I don't get this at the supermarket. <laughs> huh. These tomatoes are green. That means they're not quite ripe yet. We're looking for the reddest tomatoes ever. <laughs> red tomato. Picking vegetables was so much fun and it gave me a great idea. I'm gonna go get some corn next to feed some of my animal friends. I'm sure they know where my golden pumpkin is. Can you count the swans with me? There's one and there's two swans. Awesome! And I think the goats are all the way over there. <laughs> It's a good thing we have this corn that we picked. <laughs> Here you go. Oh. <laughs> what a healthy meal. Did you know that goats like corn? <laughs> and they like other fruits and vegetables too. <laughs> this mama goat is so hungry. We can have some too. Hey, you gotta share. <laughs> Do you know where my golden pumpkin is? <laughs> the apple orchard? I've been everywhere in Lawrence Farms, but I haven't even checked out the apple orchards. What a great idea, Mr. Goat. <laughs> look at all these trees. And look what's on them. I think I know what that means. We're in the apple orchard. 
kitchen. Huh. Oh no! There's so many apples here. How am I supposed to find my golden pumpkin? Boys and girls, if you see my pumpkin, give me a big thumbs up. Hmm. Maybe if I start picking some apples, I'll find it somewhere. <laughs> of apples right here. Here's an apple fact for you. Did you know that apples grow on trees and they come in all sorts of different colors? Ooh, I have a green apple right here. A yellow apple is just like the sun. And a super red apple that's also super juicy. And oh, I thought I saw a golden apple from before. Hmm, is that a golden apple? Wait a second. This isn't a golden delicious apple. It's a golden delicious pumpkin. I found it, boys and girls. Awesome, we did it. Now we can make our special golden pumpkin pie. trick. We have to find the letter C. Is this a C? No. Is this a C? No. Is this the letter C? Almost, but not quite. Is this a C? Yup, it's a match, everyone. Awesome! I wonder what we're gonna get. It has to be Halloween related. Mm, feels like maybe it could be a cookie? No. No. It's candy! Woohoo! I love candy! It's my favorite part of a Halloween. But I need even more candy for all of my friends. Let's go back to the pool and get another letter. Maybe we'll get even more treats. <laughs> Time for round two. Three, two, one. Such a curvy letter. Let's go to the pumpkin patch and see if there's a bee pumpkin. This time we got a bee. Hmm, is this a bee? No, that was a C. This a bee? Not even close. This the letter B? Not quite, too curvy. 
is this the letter B? Ding, ding, ding! That's a match! I have no idea what this might be, but I hope it's something good! Ew! I don't like the feel of this one! Huh? It's a pumpkin yeah. full of Ew. fog! Yeah. Gross! Ugh. There must be something else in here! Nope! Uh. More bugs! They never end! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh. <laughs> cool, let's go see what's in Pumpkin G. G's a super good letter, and I think that this one's gonna be really, really awesome. I can just tell. Is this a G? Nope. Is this a G? No. This a G? Nope. This letter is a G. G is for... Oh! Look, everyone, it's a girl! Huh? Huh? Wait a second, not just any girl! Pink dress, stars, and a bow? It's me, Ellie Sparkles! Awesome! I've never had a doll that looks like me before! This is definitely a treat! That means two treats and one trick already! Awesome, we're winning this game! <laughs> Halloween bucket all the way to the top. Look, here's our first house. I bet this house has some really cool treats. Let's use in it. Trick or treat! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy, Mr. Pirate! You look so cool, I love your costume. You look just like a real pirate. <laughs> Ahoy, matey! Will you fill up my Halloween bucket with lots and lots of candy treasure? Costume? What costume? I'm a real pirate and this is a real hook. 
Who be you? I'm dressed up as Ellie Sparkles. Well, Ellie Sparkles, I don't like your costume and I don't like Halloween. And nobody gets me candy treasure unless I like your costume. Oh boy, what a grumpy pirate. Wait a second, I have a great idea. Welcome to the Trick or Treat costume wheel. Since the pirate didn't like my costume, we're gonna find one that he does like. Ready? Three, two, one, giant spin. Awesome! It landed on the police officer. The pirate definitely will like this costume. I can just feel it. This costume is super cool. I've got my share of hat and my share of badge, and I'm ready to fight some crime. Police officers are a lot like real superheroes, aren't they? The pirate will definitely like this costume and give me candy, right? Let's find out. Trick or treat! A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Pirate treasure just for me. Oh, I love me pirate treasure. It's got to be in here somewhere. Trick or treat! Hi, Mr. Pirate. Uh. I'm back. But this time, I'm Detective Ellie Speckles. And I'm looking for some missing candy. If you have any leads, put them in the bucket. <laughs> Detective Ellie Sparkles, I don't like your costume. Those pesky coppers are always spoiling my pirate plans. No candy for you. <laughs> oh no, I should have known that a mean pirate wouldn't like a brave police officer costume. Oh, let's try this again. Let's go. Three, two, one, spin. Amazing, it landed on the princess. Awesome, I've always wanted to be a princess for Halloween. Plus, it's a lot different than the police officer costume. I'll definitely get some candy this time. This is just another awesome costume. I've got sparkly everything a sparkly tiara, and a sparkly dress, and sparkly jewels. The pirate must love sparkles because he's always talking about treasure and jewels. Let's see if he likes this costume. Oh, a pirate like onion soup in their tummy. A pirate's like onion soup, it's so yummy. police officer. Do you have any candy for the royal trick or treat bucket? You give me the tiara and I give you one piece of pirate candy. One piece of candy? <laughs> hmm, I'm not a princess without my tiara, but I do need some candy. All right, I'll make the trade. <laughs> Excellent. Bye, Ellie. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Mr. Pirate. I'm so excited to see what kind of candy he has. Huh? Ew, this isn't candy. This is a banana peel. Oh, I can't believe it. We didn't get a treat. We got a trick. Oh, that means he didn't like my costume after all. Boys and girls, it's getting late and I still haven't got any candy from the pirate. Hmm, let's hope we get a lucky spin this time. Three, two, one, spin! It landed on the pirate costume. Oh, I don't know about this one. The pirate didn't like my princess costume or my police officer costume. Do you think he'll like another pirate? Only one way to find out. All right, it's me, Captain Ellie Sparkles, and I'm gonna get my candy if it's the last thing I do. Let's do this. Trick or treat! Oh, yeah. 
Hello? Arg, it's me, Captain Ellie Sparkles. Can you guess what I am? Hmm, interesting costume. You don't look like a scallywag. Let's see. Pirate hat, pirate belt, pirate dress. That must mean you're a pirate. I love it. Arg, that's right. Does that mean I can get some of your booty? <laughs> some of it? You can have all of it. Awesome! Pirate treasure, come to Pirate Ellie Sparkle. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm almost finished. Just one last piece. There, all done. <laughs> now nobody will ever be able to see what this picture is. This is my greatest plan ever. Hi Grinch, what are you doing here? Um... Hey, what happened to our picture? We were supposed to have a Halloween picture here, right boys and girls? Yeah! But instead, I just see your villain friends. <laughs> we have Luna Girl, Gabby Gabby, Romeo, Benson, and even you, Grinch. Oh no, did you hide our mystery picture? That's right, I hid your picture. And the only way you'll be able to see it again is if you get really lucky at my disc drop game. Good luck, Ellie, you're gonna need it. <laughs> We're at Grinch's giant disc drop board. It's so big. And uh-oh, I see some of Grinch's villain friends down below. But let's get started. One, Two, three, giant this drop. It landed on Romeo from the PJ Masks. He's so silly, and he's got the silliest black and white hair. He's always trying to trick the PJ Masks and get them into trouble. Hopefully, Romeo can give us some hints about the mystery picture. <laughs> Since we landed on Romeo, that means we get to take off all of Romeo tiles. Will you count with me? One, Romeo. Two, Romeo. Three, Romeos. Four, Romeos. And lastly, five Romeos! Hmm, interesting. Our mystery picture seems to have a lot of orange. Is it my favorite fruit, an orange? Nope, you got it wrong, Ellie. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't get it. I'm the best at this game. Just like I'm the best at feeding the PJ Masks with my silly plans. One wrong guess, Ellie. If you get two more wrong guesses, you lose the game. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't get the picture right. But it's okay, we have more discs to drop. Three, two, one, drop! It landed on Gabby Gabby from the Toy Story movie. <laughs> She's so sneaky and always trying to scare Woody off. What a sneaky little doll. Let's see if she can help us with the mystery picture. Let's do this. Can't with me. One Gabby Gabby. Two Gabby Gabbies. Three Gabby Gabbies. Gabby Gabbies. And finally, five Gabby Gabbies. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Well, I know that it's orange. And I know that it's Halloween related. But this didn't really help me. 
Is it an orange ghost? Nope, it's Natsuma. That's another wrong guess, Ellie. Only one more wrong guess. And our team gets to keep your Halloween picture forever. <laughs> I have to tell my friend Vincent about this. He's going to be so happy. I can't believe we're at the third disc drop already. We're so close to getting it, boys and girls. Three, two, one, drop. Whoa, it landed on the Grinch. This was his idea after all. He hates Christmas and he hates being nice. So I hope he gives us some hint about the mystery picture. We can do this. I'm so nervous to pull off these last tiles. Oh, boys and girls, this is our last time counting. Let's do this. One Grinch. Two Grinch. Three Grinches. Four. And finally, five Grinches. Boys and girls, I think I know what this is. It's so much clearer to me now. This little green part definitely helped. And look, you can see a face. If you know what this is, leave it in the comments below. Let's say it together. Three, two, one. A pumpkin. Is that right? Let's find out. We did it! It's a pumpkin! That means we win the game and we beat the villains! Oh yeah, we did it! Hey, how did you know that it was a pumpkin? You weren't supposed to guess it right. I hid the picture really good with all my friends. This isn't fair. <laughs> I was supposed to keep the picture, not you. Why can't my friends just win one time on Halloween? Just once. and I'm about to have even more fun at the playground. I'm just waiting for my friends to pick me up so we can drive there together. I got balloons for all of them, and I even found a bottle of water at school. It was the last one left. I'm so lucky. That means I'm not gonna be thirsty at the park. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in my lucky cup. Let's wait for the car. Hey, where did all the water bottles go? Oh, great. Don't tell me Ellie Sparkles took the last bottle of water again. I wanted to drink that. Ugh, there goes Ellie trying to ruin my plans. Well, this time, I'm going to ruin her plans. I see that she wants to have fun at the playground. Grinch, Grinch, come here. Gabby, Gabby, I'm here, I'm here. I have a secret mission for you. Ellie Sparkles is getting ready to go to the playground with my bottle of water. I need you to make sure she doesn't get to finish that water. Do you have any ideas? Hmm, so Ellie's waiting to go to the playground? Aha! I got it! What if I drove her to the playground in my Grinch car and made sure it was a very bumpy ride? If it's extra bumpy, then she'll spill her water on the ground! <laughs> okay, Gabby Gabby, I have to go get my car now. I don't like Grinch's plan. I love it! That's the greatest plan I've ever heard! <laughs> Ellie's water will definitely spill when Grinch drives. It's the worst drive ever! Say goodbye to your favorite water cup, Ellie Sparkles! you you're going to the playground too awesome i can't wait to go onto the slide 
But don't go too fast. I don't want it to be too bumpy or else I'll spill my lucky cup everywhere. Oh, don't worry, Ellie. I'll keep a close eye on your order. <laughs> okay, boys and girls. If you want to see me, the Grinch, drive this car, press the thumbs up button. Here we go. <laughs> this isn't too bad. It's not that bumpy. It reminds me of driving on a school bus every morning. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round, round and, and round, round all day long. long. I like that song, but my song is even better. When Grinch drives the car, it goes bumpy, 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 zigzag, zig, windy, windy, windy. <laughs> okay, Ellie, hang on tight. Whoa, it suddenly got a lot bumpier. But it wasn't that bumpy because my drink didn't spill at all. <laughs> it was just like riding the bus in the morning with all my friends. Speaking of friends, I can't wait to go play in the playground. Let's go on our first ride. Ellie's water didn't spill at all. Grinch's plan didn't work. He was supposed to make the ride extra bumpy. He's the silliest villain ever. And look at Ellie now. She's almost ready to go on her first ride at the park. I need to stop her right away. Benson, Benson, come here. Where are you? Gabby, Gabby, I got here as soon as I could. Do you need my help? Of course I need your help. That's why I called you. Do you see Ellie over there with my water? Well, I need you to come up with a plan to make her spill her water cup. I asked the Grinch before, but his plan didn't work. Do you have any ideas? Oh, my plans are definitely better than Grinch's plans. Let me think. Hmm... If I build something over there, and Ellie goes over there, a water cup will go that way. Yep, that will work. I got it. I have the perfect plan to ruin Ellie's water cup. You can relax, Gabby Gabby. When my plan is finished, you won't have to worry about Ellie taking your water ever again. Thanks, Benson. I knew I could trust you. But you better hurry. Ellie looks like she's having so much fun already. And oh yeah, just make sure your plan works better than Grinch's plan. <laughs> That was so much fun! I want to go again! So Ellie's favorite ride at the park is the slide. Well, I built her a special surprise at the end of the slide. A giant wall to block her slide. <laughs> the next time Ellie tries to slide down, my wall will stop her and make her drink spill all over the place. Ooh, it looks like Ellie's getting ready to go now. Here I go! <laughs> Did you see that? Where did those cups come from? That was so much fun, I felt like a bowling ball. It's a good thing I didn't spill my water. <laughs> I want to go again. Oh, great. Benson's giant wall didn't work at all. Ellie slid right through the wall, and she didn't even spill any of her water. First, Grinch's plan was ruined, and now Benson's plan didn't work. Ellie's having so much fun at the playground, and she still has a full cup of my water. Grr. I guess I'm going to have to stop Ellie myself once and for all. Wow, I'm having so much fun so far. But wait, I just remembered. I took the last bottle of water at school, so it would only be nice if I had a bottle of water to give back in case somebody else was thirsty. I'm going to put on this swing right next to me. Huh? Did you hear that? Ellie left another water bottle here for me? So I guess that means Ellie wasn't trying to steal my favorite drink. Ellie wasn't trying to ruin my plans. She was being nice the whole time. Phew! It's a good thing my silly plan didn't work today. house. I can't wait to get up to so much fun. 
Look, here's a water bottle, and I think it's the last one left. I am pretty thirsty, and this will go perfectly in my lucky water cup. Hmm, so refreshing. I wonder what we're gonna get up to first. There's so many things to do. Oh, look, is that a boat? That looks super cool. I think I'll go on the boat first. Can you believe Ellie Sparkles took the last bottle of water? Everyone knows that water is my favorite drink. Yeah, I think Ellie took the last water on purpose just so I couldn't have it. Ugh, Ellie's always ruining my plans and taking my favorite drinks. But I'll show her. I'll make sure she never gets to drink that water. Benson, Benson, come here. Where are you? Sorry, Gabby Gabby, I'm here. Did you call me? There you are, Benson. I have a mission for you. Ellie Sparkles took my last bottle of water, so we can't let her drink it. It looks like Ellie's getting ready to go on the boat. Do you have any ideas? On the boat? Let me see. Oh boy, I know what to do. I'll drive the boat and make sure she has an extra bumpy ride so that she spills her water. <laughs> oh no! Ha 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 ha! That's the perfect plan, Benson. Ellie will definitely spill all of her water on the boat if you're the captain. Okay, boys and girls, press the thumbs up button if you want to see Benson drive the boat. Look, everyone, we're on an awesome new boat. And look at the water. It's peaceful and calm with no waves. That means I can drink my water in peace. Okay, Mr. Boat Captain, let's go. But don't go too fast. I don't want to spill my water everywhere. Oh, don't worry, Ellie. I'll keep a close eye on your cup of water. <laughs> Okay, Ellie, playtime is over. You better hang on tight. Oh, no! was supposed to be nice and relaxing, but then suddenly got fast and bumpy. That was awesome. It was like a roller coaster. And I didn't even spill my drink. <laughs> I can't wait to see what we get up to next at the lake house. Oh no, that plan didn't work. Ellie didn't spill her water at all. I knew I shouldn't have trusted Benson. And look, now Ellie's getting ready to lie down on her beach chair with my water. Uh, I have to stop this. Grinch, Grinch, where are you? Oh, hello, Gabby Gabby. I rushed here as soon as you called. Do you need my help? Yes, I need your help. Ellie is ruining all my plans again, so we need to come up with a plan to ruin her day. She's getting ready to relax on her beach chair, and she has my water. Oh, boy, I get to try another silly plan again. I need you to make sure she spills the water and never gets to drink it. I love silly plans, and I have the best plan ever. <laughs> When Ellie isn't looking, I'll spray her with the water hose and get her all wet. Oh, no! She'll definitely spill her water when she gets sprayed. <laughs> so, what do you think of my plan, Gabby Gabby? Do you like it? Do you? Wow, that is a great idea, Grinch. This will definitely work. Okay, you better get the water hose and just make sure your plan works. I can't have Ellie drink all of that water. I have the water hose all set. All I have to do now is aim the water at her, and she's gonna get all wet. Wait till you see this. Here I go. <laughs> oh no, what happened? The hose didn't get Ellie wet. The hose filled up Ellie's cup with more water. Uh-oh. Gabby Gabby's gonna be really mad when she sees this. Yikes. I better get out of here. Ah, 
What a refreshing nap I just had. And look, magically my water cup is all full again. Awesome, perfect timing because I was getting really thirsty. My day just keeps getting better and better. Maybe now I can go on the huge water slide. Let's go. Uh, my plan is ruined again. Grinch was supposed to spill Ellie's water cup, but he filled it up instead. That Grinch is the silliest villain ever. I can't keep letting Ellie ruin my plans. I see that she's going to the water slide next. This is my last chance to finally stop her from drinking my water. I'm so excited to go down the water slide. But wait. Let me take one sip of water before I go. That reminds me. I know I took the last bottle of water, so I got an extra one just in case someone else is thirsty. I'm gonna leave it right here. Huh? Did you hear that? Ellie left another water bottle here for me? So I guess that means Ellie wasn't trying to steal my favorite drink. Ellie wasn't trying to ruin my plans. She was being nice the whole time. Phew! It's a good thing my silly plans didn't work today. today because Santa had a big boo-boo on his head and forgot everything about Christmas. Meow, meow, meow. Happy Valentine's Day, boys and girls. Do you see what I mean? If he doesn't learn everything in Santa school in time for Christmas, we might not be able to get all the presents underneath all the trees in time. Oh, and that would mean Christmas would be ruined. Ooh, are we going to spelling class? I'm really good at my ABCs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. It's a good thing our teacher from Santa school is Santa's favorite elf, Elf Ainsley. I think I hear her coming now. Hi, Santa. Welcome to Santa school. I heard about your little boo-boo on your head. Do you remember my name at least? Of course I do. You're Frosty the Snowman. I could tell by that orange carrot on your nose. Wow, that boob was bigger than I thought. No, my name's Elf Ainsley, your favorite elf. Ellie and I will teach you how to be real Santa. The first step of being Santa is how to dress like Santa. You mean that Santa doesn't dress like this? No! Santa, you don't look like the real Santa Claus right now because the real Santa Claus usually wears a red jacket. Ooh, this will be warm. And Santa Claus doesn't wear jeans, he wears red pants. Ooh, these will fit just nicely. And don't forget your big black belt. Ah, oh, I was looking for that. And most importantly of all, a red hat. Oh, I don't need the hat, Ellie. I remembered to bring my hat. I'm gonna go get changed. I'll be right back. Come on out, Santa. Let's see your new outfit. Ready or not, here comes Santa. Ta-da! What do you think? <laughs> oh, no! Ho, ho, ho! Lesson two, Christmas carols. Come on in, Santa, and I'll teach you your favorite songs. Singing? I love singing. Is Happy Birthday a Christmas song? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Uh, not really, but I'll teach you some. Like Frosty the Snowman. Or we wish you a Merry Christmas and 12 Days of Christmas. And Jingle Bells. Ooh, Jingle Bells. That one sounds like fun. Let's learn that one first. Okay, that one's really easy, and it's one of my favorites too. I'll teach you. It goes, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. 
Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Ooh, I think I can do it now. It goes like this. Smirk older, smirk older, smirk older, older. No, 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 Santa. Repeat after me. Jingle. Jingle. Bells. Bells. Jingle bells. Smirk older. No. Okay, no, 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 no. Let me try. Ready? Say jingle. Jingle. Okay, now say bells. Bells. Now say them both together. Jingle bells. Smirkolder. Oh, no, no. That's the lunch bell. I think we're definitely going to need some lunch after all of this. Yes. Smirkolder, 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 Hey. So, Santa. Since you're eating lunch, I thought this would be a good time for another Santa lesson. Santa Claus has a most favorite snack ever. And I have three snacks right here. And you're supposed to guess which one you're supposed to like the most. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Hmm, which one do I like the most? Ooh, this one looks yummy. It is definitely a yummy treat, but that's an apple. Santa Claus doesn't really like apples on Christmas night. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Silly me. I like... I like this yellow thing, right? Well, you do like bananas, but on other days, not Christmas, you have a very specific treat that you love to eat when you're working on the job. Of course, of course. Silly Santa. I like these little circles here. Yeah. That's right. Do you know what they are? Um, no. They're cookies, chocolate chip cookies. And you also drink them with milk. <laughs> Ooh, can I try? Sure thing. Mmm, these are delicious. Hey, wait. Why am I wearing this silly fire helmet? Santa doesn't wear that. Santa wears a Santa hat. That's right. Now I remember everything. That boys and girls leave the milk and cookies by the fire when I deliver gifts to them. Yes. Oh man, I'm feeling a lot better now. Whoa, boys and girls, wasn't that weird? Suddenly Santa got a lot smarter than before. I wonder why that happened. All right, Santa, time for your next lesson. And it's one of the most important of all, putting the gifts underneath the Christmas tree. The boys and girls love their gifts, so you have to do this just right. Alfonso will teach you. Okay. Step number one is to get your big gold Santa bag for all the gifts. Step two, when you get to your first house, you have to slide down the chimney and find the Christmas tree. The tree will look like this, but even bigger. Then, you have to take out the presents one by one and place them nicely on the tree. Here's the most important part though, Santa. You have to be super quiet. Shh. Otherwise, the boys and girls will wake up and catch you. Can you do that? I think I got it. Nice and quiet. That didn't happen. Christmas is gonna be ruined. Wait a second, I have a great idea. Santa, would you like a favorite snack of yours? Some milk and cookies? Cookies? For me? Hmm. Now I remember how to do this. Here, let me show you. Great 
idea, Ellie. That really worked. Let's get more cookies. <laughs> okay, Santa, now that you've had all your milk and cookies, I think it's time to give you a Santa quiz to see if you're really ready to be Santa. Question one. Where do you live and make all your presents? Hmm, I know it's very cold there, and there's lots of snow. Ooh, and Mrs. Claus lives there too. Is it the North Pole? That's right, Santa. High five. And a cookie for you. Question two. What pulls you in your sled every Christmas? Hmm, I know they're brown and they're furry. Oh yes, they're reindeers. And who's your number one favorite reindeer? Oh, that's easy. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's right. Final question before you can graduate from Santa school. What is Santa's favorite Christmas song? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Ho, ho, ho. Center at the Hudson Highlands Nature Museum in Cornwall, New York. And I'm so excited because we're going to have a special nature tour with one of the tour guides here. But I wonder where they are. Excuse me, are you one of my tour guides? Tour guide? Ha 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 ha. I'm not a tour guide. I'm Dr. Science, the world's number one nature scientist. A nature scientist? Wow, that sounds so cool. That's right. I know everything there is to know about nature. Here, I'll give you one right now. Did you know that those clouds in the sky are really ice cream? Oh, vanilla ice cream? Oh, I want some. That doesn't sound right to me, Dr. Science. <laughs> Did you hear that? That animal sound sounded really familiar. Quick, follow me. <laughs> Wow! Look, <laughs> boys and girls. <laughs> I thought I heard a hoot hoot. Do you know what animal goes hoot hoot? Hoo hoo! That's right, it's an owl! <laughs> and this is Gus. I'm so excited to learn way more about you. <laughs> Did you know that owls have big, long trunks and they eat peanuts too? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And they like to pull Santa's sled during Christmas time. Yeah, that's an owl, right? I don't think so, Dr. Science. Look, this is Emily. She's a nature guide, and she knows so much about nature and animals, unlike Dr. Science. So I have a few questions, Emily. Why do owls have such big eyes anyway? Well, they need those big eyes to collect as much light as they can because they are active at nighttime when the sun is not up. At nighttime? Awesome! So when I'm asleep, you're out there trying to get some food, huh, Gus? <laughs> Gus, you're so cool. What other cool things can you do? Well, he's very good at camouflaging. Ooh! Can I see that? Sure. Gus, where are you? Where'd you go? My friend Carl found a very cute, fuzzy critter for you. Oh, awesome! I love fuzzy critters. Let's go find Carl. Hi, you must be my nature guide, Carl. I'm Ellie, and Emily said you had something fuzzy for me to look at. I do, Ellie. I have a woolly bear. A woolly bear? That doesn't look like a bear to me. I need to know all about it. Did you know that woolly bears live in the forest and they're really, really big and furry? Oh yeah, and their favorite fruits are gummy bears and big jars of honey. That's a woolly bear, right? I don't think so, Dr. Science. Woolly bears are so tiny. They can't eat a whole jar of honey. <laughs> That's so silly. Tell me more about woolly bears. Actually, it's a caterpillar and it's going to become an Isabella moth. An 
is a thalamoth. What a pretty name, right, boys and girls? Do they sleep like bears? Well, they do, actually. These guys right now are looking for a place to sleep all winter long. And then in April or May, she's actually going to make a cocoon and then turn into an Isabella moth. Awesome! Can I touch her? Sure can. She's a... <gasps> wow! She's super soft. Yeah, so it's not a bear, it's actually an insect. I have more insects over at the pond. You wanna go see? Yes, absolutely. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what a pretty pond. Are we gonna go swimming? Whoa, is that a swimming pool? I'm all ready to go. I got my floaty, my goggles, and I'm ready to jump in. Let's do some cannonballs. Not today, but I do have a dip net, and I'm gonna grab some material from the pond right here. You wanna see if we can find some critters? Yeah! Oh, I think we got something good in here. Let's go put it in the tray. Come on. Look, it's a cute little tadpole. Do you know what tadpoles grow up to be? That's right, frogs! Ribbit. This is called a newt. We found him in the water. How cool is that? He has four legs. One, two, three, four. Carl just told me this is a baby dragonfly. I've only seen dragonflies when they're big and flying in the air. I didn't even know they lived in the water. Wow, a snail. He's curled up into a little ball. Don't worry, little snail. I'm your friend. Yes! Oh, we're in luck. Look at this. <gasps> Do you know what this is? I've seen one of those before. It looks really funny. It's a praying mantis, isn't it? It is a praying mantis. But why is it called a praying mantis? Well, that's funny. Some people say because when their arms are together, they look like they're praying. But it's actually for catching other prey. They use those feet to catch <laughs> bugs. They love to eat bugs. Is that why they have big eyes too, so they can see the bugs? Yeah, she actually has really big eyes. And she, if you notice, she can turn her head from side to side looking for her food. That's awesome! <laughs> How do you know it's a she? Oh, good question. Well, because she's really big, most of the boy praying mantises are much smaller. <laughs> you want to hold it? Yeah! Here. Let's put her over there. It's like a playground for praying mantises. Yes! Here we go. <laughs> Hello, I found you a new home. On this leaf right here. Oh, not on me. I know. Here we go. Whoa, boys and girls, can you find the praying mantis? Yes! She's super camouflaged. All right. Oh, I see Emily. Do you think this is cool? She's got a reptile I think you're really gonna like. A reptile? Oh, I can't wait to see. Come on. Let's go see Emily. <laughs> Carl said Emily had a reptile for me to see. I wonder what it is. There she is. Hi, Emily. Hi, Ellie. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, this is Kevin. He's a black rat snake. <gasps> Did you know that snakes go ribbit, 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 and they sit on lily pads and they eat flies? Oh yeah, and they have a really long tongue too. So they go like this. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Snakes don't sit on lily pads, Dr. Science. They're so silly. But they do have long tongues. Why do they have long tongues, Emily? Well, they don't just have long tongues. They have tongues that split into two. So they can smell this direction, and they can smell this direction, and they can find out where things are. Awesome, that's so cool, Kevin. <laughs> they must smell a lot of food. What do they eat? They like to eat mice and rats and anything little that they can find, but mostly just meat. Mice 
and rats? Oh my goodness, do they eat every day? Not every day. Sometimes they eat once a week, sometimes they eat even less. <gasps> I can't even imagine having only one meal a week. <laughs> I love food too much. <laughs> hey Kevin, let's have a staring contest. Ready, three, two, one, go. Hey, wait a second. You're cheating! You don't have any eyelids! <laughs> wow. I didn't know snakes could be so cool. Carl and Emily sure do know a lot about the nature at the museum. What great nature guides! <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Speaking of nature guides, I have one more nature fact for you. Remember, be nice to all animals. Animals live on the earth just like me and you. Oh boy, I'm super excited. We're at one of my favorite places ever for a class field trip. The Crayola Experience in Eastern Pennsylvania. Everybody in my class uses Crayola markers and crayons. Well, wait to see what we get to make inside the Crayola Experience. It's gonna be awesome! <laughs> crayons! There's hundreds and thousands and millions of crayons here in all sorts of different colors. I have so many favorite colors. What's yours? I love sky blue. I love plum. I love yellow. And oh, what's that? I see something really cool over there. <gasps> This crayon is huge and golden. I want this one. <laughs> not so fast, Ellie Sparkles. That's not just any crayon. It's me giant golden crayon. <gasps> it's me greatest pirate treasure ever, and you can't have it. <laughs> There's only one way to get me golden pirate treasure. You have to get all the way to the tippy top of the color meter. But don't get your hopes up. No one's ever gotten to the top of the color meter, and no one ever will. <laughs> I bet we will, boys and girls. If there's any place to fill up a color meter, it's here at Crayola, the most colorful place on the planet. Let's do all the games and activities and win that golden crayon. Give me a big thumbs up if you're excited to get started. <laughs> Let's go! There's so many art stations here at Crayola Experience that lets you use crayons in many different ways. Like this right here. This is a crayon melter. That means there's hot crayon wax inside that's all melted. Oh, <gasps> whoa! One of the coolest things about the Crayola Experience is its color playground. It's the hugest and tallest playground ever. It's two stories tall. That's like the size of a house. And did you know a secret that I heard? There's some Crayola marker surprises inside, and I can't wait to find them. I love markers. Let's go. Oh, so Ellie Sparkles wants to find all the secret markers before I do? That won't happen. I'm the best secret marker treasure hunter the land has ever seen. Watch out, secret markers. Here comes Mr. Pirate. Secret markers must be in here somewhere. I'm going to find them. <gasps> Look over there, everyone. It's a bridge. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to climb it. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Look, everyone. Another marker. I'm getting really this. What's over here? 
Ooh, where are these secret markers anyway? I hope I find a glitter one. <laughs> Look everyone, I found a tunnel! <laughs> a third marker! Amazing! <laughs> Woohoo! That was one of the coolest playgrounds I've ever been in! And look everyone, we have our hidden markers! We have one marker, two markers, three markers, four markers, and five markers! The color meter should be all the way to the top now, right? Let's check it out! Nice! We're almost at the top, but not yet! Lucky for us, there's still so many things to do here! <laughs> Look out below! <laughs> hey, Sparkles found all the secret markers before I did! And even worse, she's almost at the top of the color meter! I can't let that happen, I have to stop her, or else she'll get all me pirate treasure! <laughs> You think that's good, Ellie Sparkles? Ha! I could do way better! I'll show you the greatest wax hand ever made! <laughs> Ta-da! Oh no! Me hook! Not me pirate hook! I meant to put me good pirate hand with all five <laughs> fingers, but I put my hook in! <laughs> You're so silly, Mr. Pirate! I bet I'm at the top of the color meter now! <laughs> Harley Sparkles, not even close! Oh, <laughs> Face it, you'll never get to the top of the color meter. It's impossible! Another really cool thing about the Crayola experience is being able to label and make your own crayon. Wow. I have my crayon here. It's this beautiful red color. And I even made my own label. Ooh. There's a heart on it and it says Ellie Sparkles! Now we have the label and we have the crayon. Now it's time to put them together. Let me show you how to do that. One, two, three. <gasps> and there we have it. My very own Ellie Sparkles pink crayon. <laughs> yeah, not so fast, Ellie Sparkles. Since you like making crayons so much, I got you something. A whole cup of crayons to wrap. But wait, there's something you should know. <laughs> you have to wrap all those crayons before I finish eating me pirate pizza. <laughs> and if you don't, you'll never get me golden crayon. Oh no, but it's gonna be so hard. There's so many crayons in here. This is gonna be the easiest race ever for me. <laughs> okay, Ellie, you start wrapping your crayons and I'll eat me pirate pizza. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Oh, she'll never wrap these in time. <laughs> We're down to the last crayon. 
I sure hope the pirate isn't finished with this pirate pizza. <laughs> you know what goes the best with pirate pizza? Gold coins. <gasps> Quick, we gotta get back to the pirate to see if we won. We finished dropping all the crayons. <laughs> One last bite and I win. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Mr. Pirate, Mr. Pirate, I did it! I wrapped all the pink crayons. I had so much fun doing it, too. <laughs> oh, no! Well, you may have wrapped all your crayons in time, but you'll still never get to the top of the color meter. <gasps> yes! I did it! <laughs> no way, Ellie Sparkles! No one's ever gotten to the top of the color meter before. Oh, that man. means I get the golden crayon, right? I guess you get me golden crayon oh. treasure. My golden crayon, I'll miss you. Thank you, Mr. Pirate. Don't be sad. I got you something special just to make you feel better. Hmm? My luck. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. It's colorful and a little bit sparkly. I like sparkly things. <laughs> oh. This is the biggest crayon I've ever seen. It's awesome. I bet you can color with that, too. I'll try. <laughs> We have a lot of houses to deliver to. And this is the first one now. Let's see who lives here, Santa. Hello? Anyone home? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> who is it? Oh, no, not you again, Ellie Sparkles. I'm busy. I can't come out right now. I got more science experiments to do. But Merry Christmas, Dr. Science. Whoa. Is that really Santa Claus? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, and guess what? We are delivering gifts to every single person on the neighborhood. <laughs> and you get a gift, too. Oh, wow. Let's see what I got. <gasps> oh, my gosh. A real science microscope? Yeah. Thanks, Santa. I'm going to do so many science experiments with this. OK, now that I have this gift, Where's the rest of my gifts? More gifts, more gifts, more gifts, more gifts. More gifts, Dr. Science? Um, Santa only has enough room in his bag for one gift per boy and girl on the block. And we still have a lot of houses to visit. So we gotta go. Bye, Dr. Science. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Oh, <laughs> Since Santa has so many houses to get to this year, we're gonna spin the giant Christmas wheel to see who we go see next. Ready? One, two, three, spin! <laughs> it landed on the police officer. Awesome! Police officers are so brave, and I know one that lives right over there. So let's go. So Santa wants to give me one gift for Christmas this year? Well, I'll show him I have the perfect idea. All I have to do is drink my secret doctor science potion, and I can turn to anyone on his list. Here I go. <laughs> oh, I got it. It worked! It worked! I turned into a real police officer! Now Ellie and Santa will never know it's me. Ooh, they must be here already. I have to act like a police officer. Quick, what do police officers do? Oh, I got it! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Hi, Mr. Police Officer! <laughs> we finally made it! Ooh, is it Christmas already? I totally forgot about that. What are you up to? 
Oh, you know, I'm just doing regular police work. Putting out fires? And you're not even wearing the right hat. You're wearing your fireman's hat. That's a little bit strange to me. Oh wait, I know. You're a police officer and a fireman, aren't you? That makes you extra, extra brave. And because you've been saving lots and lots of people this year, <laughs> you get a gift. It's a police hat? What am I going to do with a hat? Put it on, silly. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. There we go. Now you can wear the right hat when you're doing your police work. All right, we got to go deliver some more presents. Let's go, Santa. Bye, Mr. Police and Fireman. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Great. What am I supposed to do with the police hat? I don't want one of these for Christmas. I'm so excited to spin the giant Christmas wheel again. Ready? One, two, three, giant spin. <laughs> Amazing! It landed on the lifeguard. Come on, Santa. Let's go to the pool and give them their present. So Emily and Santa are coming to visit the lifeguard? Guess I have to use my doctor science potion again. Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it worked! It worked! I'm a real lifeguard! Ellie and Santa will never know that it's really me! Ho, ho, ho! Hey, did you hear that? They must be here! Oh man, I gotta act like a lifeguard! Quick, what do lifeguards do? <laughs> oh, Mr. Lifeguard! Mr. Lifeguard? We're here with your present. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lifeguard! Where are you? Hi there, Mr. Lifeguard. Hey, what are you up to? Oh, hi, Santa. Hi, Ellie. I wasn't expecting you here. <laughs> I'm just doing regular lifeguard things. Like fishing in a pool during winter? <laughs> That's really weird. But wait, I forget. You're the silliest lifeguard ever. <laughs> You're so funny. Anyway, since you've been teaching all the boys and girls how to swim all year, we got you a present. Oh. Boy, a present? I wasn't expecting this. Let's see what I got. <gasps> sunglasses? Huh? Yeah, sunglasses. Lifeguards always need a trusty pair of sunglasses to keep the sun away from their eyes. I'm so glad you like it. We're going to go to the other houses now and drop off more gifts. Bye, Mr. Lifeguard. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Sunglasses? I didn't want sunglasses for Christmas. <sighs> Great. Now I'm just going to have to trick Ellie and Santa again. Are you ready to spin for a third time? <laughs> Three, two, one, spin! <laughs> Fantastic! It landed on Mrs. Claus. That's perfect, Santa. We can go back home, give Mrs. Claus her present, and eat some of her yummy Christmas cookies. <laughs> Let's go! Ooh, I have just a amount of potion left. Oh, I got my... <laughs> yes, it worked. I know Santa left Mrs. Claus the best gift of all. And it's gonna be all mine. Oh, I don't know. Mrs. Claus, are you in here? <laughs> I, yes, I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> there you are. Me and C 
chance, and we're so excited to get back to give you your present. We know you've been working really, really hard with Santa to make all the presents for the boys and girls at home. <laughs> oh, wait! What is that lovely smell? It smells amazing! Are you baking your famous Christmas cookies again? Can we and Santa have one? The cookies? Um, uh, yes, uh, they should be around here somewhere. Uh, where did I put them? They should be around here somewhere. Uh, Mrs. Claus, maybe they're in the oven? Oh, yes, of course. Silly me. Your cookies are in the oven. I found the cookies. Now can I have my Christmas gift? Wait a second. What's wrong with your hair? <laughs> Can you believe it, Santa? Dr. Science has been tricking us all day, hasn't he? He's so silly. <laughs> but at least he gave us some yummy Christmas cookies. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. teacher's favorite student in class. That's right, Alex. You're one of the best students ever. Oh, that reminds me. Do you want to show me your silly hat? I'll show you mine. Oh, no thank you, Ellie Sparkles. I'm saving my hat for when we get to school. I just know that Miss Blue is going to love my hat the most. Well, I can't wait to see it in class then. Time to get on the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> oh my, such a busy day of class today. Checking the homework, grading the big science test, and of course, judging the silly hat contest. Oh look, the students are here now. Come on in, students. Welcome to class. Good morning, Miss Blue. All right, before we begin, let's take the attendance. Ellie, are you here? Here, Miss Blue. And Alex, are you here? I'm present, Miss Blue. And if you noticed, I was the first one to arrive in the classroom. Oh, yeah. And since you're such a great teacher, I brought you a small gift. A basket full of apples. Because one apple just isn't good enough for a teacher as nice as you. Oh, wow, Alex, that sure is a lot of apples. But I think this is one too many apples for me to eat all by myself. Perhaps we can share them after class during lunchtime. Okay, now to get started with class, I think that we should judge the silly hat contest. I can't wait to see how silly your hats are. Who's gonna start first? Ooh, me, 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 me! I go first, I go first. Since I always follow the teacher's rules, my hat was made exactly how you said, Miss Blue. See, here's the word silly, and I can wear it on my head. It's a silly hat, just like what you asked for, Miss Blue, right? Well, that definitely is a silly hat, but I was expecting something a little more silly. Let's see what grade the silly meter gives your hat. Well done, Alex. The silly meter gives your hat two points. Now let's see what Ellie's hat is like. Well, my hat is a little bit different from Alex's. I made it. And it's one of my favorite animals, a pig with wings. You can even make the wings move. 
like this. about your hat. <gasps> That's five silly points for you, Ellie. <laughs> I think your hat was so silly it broke the silly meter. <laughs> it's not even silly or funny. My hat was silly and funny. This isn't fair. Okay, class, time for our first lesson of the day. Rhymes. Rhymes are when two words have the same sounds at the end. For example, king rhymes with ring. The king bought a ring. Now here's one that's a little harder. Fountain rhymes with mountain. There's a fountain on top of the mountain. Now you have to tell me a short poem that rhymes. Who will start? I will. <coughs> this poem is called Miss Blue. Roses are red, violets are blue. And speaking of blue, Miss Blue is the smartest teacher in the whole wide world. And she is my hero. The end. Well, that was very nice, Alex. But your poem didn't exactly rhyme. Remember, rhymes are when they sound the same at the end. Ellie, what about your poem? My name is Ellie, and I like to eat cheese. I always mind my manners, so I always say, please. I say, please, can I have some cheese? Not please, can I have some peas? I don't like peas. I only like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ellie, what a wonderful poem. Not only did it rhyme, it was also super silly. A plus for you, Ellie. <laughs> well done. Oh, not again. I can't let Ellie keep doing better than me in class. Now that we've learned all about rhyming, it's time for our big spelling quiz. First question. What letter comes after S in the alphabet? Everyone write your answers down. Ooh, I got this. This is an easy one. The answer is the letter T. I think so too. The letter T. Are we ready? Very good, students. T comes after S in the alphabet. Now it's time to write down question two. I want you to use your favorite marker and write the word school. Uh-oh. Wait a second. My marker's all dried up, and it was the only marker I brought today. Oh, no! Hey, Alex. Do you mind if I borrow one of your markers? Mine just dried up. Sorry, Ellie Sparkles, but I never let anyone borrow my markers. That's why you're supposed to bring extra markers for the test. But I promise I'll give it back to you after the test. Oh. Okay, everyone, time's up. Let's see your answers. Miss Blue, this was a hard one, but I know exactly how to spell it. C S C H O O L, school. Um, Miss Blue, my marker dried up in the middle of it, after S-C-H. So that's what I wrote. Yes, 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 I got them all right! That's why I'm the best student in your class, Miss Blue. <laughs> oh, it's time for lunch. What a wonderful morning it was. Wow, we sure did a lot of things in class today, and now I'm super hungry. Lucky for me, I have my favorite lunch, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and some fruit. Oh, hello, Lee Sparkles. That was a great spelling test, wasn't it? Yeah! Oh, what do you have for lunch? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Mm-hmm. Well, I have something much, much better. A blueberry ice cream sandwich. Ah. See, I told you my lunch was way better than... Oh no, my sandwich! It's... it's melted! I must have forgot to put the ice cream in the freezer. Oh, it's okay. 
Okay, Alex, you can share my lunch with me. I have another half of peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Miss Blue likes you more than me because you do everything right. Your silly hat was way sillier than mine, and your poem actually rhymed. Mm, you're upset about your hat? Well, I have a great idea. I'm really good at making things silly. And I have all these fruit. Maybe we can use my fruit to make your hat super silly. How does that sound? Yeah. Great <laughs> idea, Ellie Sparkles. Do you think you could teach me how to rhyme too? Of course. Well, let's get this hat all silly up. The name of this poem is called My Friend Ellie. I have an awesome friend named Ellie. At lunch, we shared peanut butter and jelly. When I need help in school, I know a friend that's cool. My friend's name rhymes with belly. It's Ellie. Bravo, bravo, Alex. What a wonderful poem with wonderful rhymes. And this hat, this wonderful hat. It's covered in all sorts of fruits that I love. It's so silly. Oh my goodness, just look at it. A plus is for everyone. Oh wow, there's an orange on your hat. Grapes? And oh my goodness, do I see a watermelon in the back? Oh, oh my gosh, I've never even experienced